What's going on YouTube? This is Dan Jeffrey with Rocket Stocks doing some trade reviews. It's been a while and uh, it's been a while because I'm not going to lie. It's been a bit of a struggle phase for my trading. But, you know, today we went back to the basics and uh, I'm going to show you guys kind of what some of those basics are. Um, it was quite an interesting morning. I uh, woke up. We had no power. Didn't get power back on until 9.41 Eastern. I was on the I was on my way out to go get breakfast, and then the power came on. So I was like, well, let's have a day. Let's just go trade the market despite, you know, the, the challenges I've been having. But through the challenges, been noticing some, some key things about the trading that I could improve on. And one of them is definitely taking my losses sooner, which is what I did today on my first trade, which was a loss, but the remaining four trades were all winners. So that being said was able to capitalize on Apple despite the first trade losing. Um, I tried taking it long pretty much right after we had this initial move down. We were above the moving averages, the simple moving averages, the 200 here, the 20, and started getting some, you know, some confirmation to the upside. So I tried taking it long right here, and immediately we start reversing. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the loss, and if it goes back up, I can always re-enter. And I took a loss here. I stopped it out after we pretty much broke below the body of the candle that I entered on. And then immediately we reversed back, and I was like, okay, well, not surprised because we kind of came down. The 200 is here. We're starting to bounce back up. So did I have to sell there? I didn't have to, per se. But honestly, because the first move of the day was down, this could have just been failure to make a new high and go lower. So it was best for me to just take the loss. So then I entered in here with uh, 300 shares this time. And I took some profits a little bit on the way up here on this first bar. And then as we started coming up a little bit more, I took off the last lot of my runner after we kind of came down and, and started making a new high. Uh, this tail could have easily turned into a reversal spot. Obviously it did, and we kind of kept rallying higher because the spy was going up. But I was happy with that trade. Bounce back from the loss was, you know, in the green on the day. And that was just a huge turnaround for me considering, like I said, it's trading has been a bit of a challenging lately. Um, some losers I've just been holding on to way too long and other entries I had no business taking in the first place. So I'm definitely getting a little more disciplined with what I'm doing right now to have better results, which today was an example of. Um, so after Apple, I went over to AMD and I did uh, two trades here on the open. I missed this whole move up because obviously I was an Apple. But what ended up happening was once we just had million bars straight i mean not million but we had like six bars straight i was willing to take the short right here and any quick move down into this prior level i was all about it so i took profits right there on the quick short and we started rallying back higher so then i took it long right there and then i realized i should probably take some quick profits now that we're doing a new high and luckily i did because then we started rolling over and i took my next last bit of profits off right there which inevitably we came down um all in all happy with that trade as well this could have gone down lower could have retested the lows things could have really got out of control but it was fine taking the quick profits on that only because there was some signs that maybe amd was a little exhausted and only having a one bar pullback to me just isn't quite enough. I would rather see something like this take place right where this red bar was. And then I really would have trusted a bigger move. Me personally, obviously, we came up, we then went sideways and went higher. But at that point, I already made my profits. So I was okay with it. After that, I noticed Spy was about to deliver another great short. So. First move of the day was down, had a crazy move up. Same thing here. I was comfortable with taking a short. Pretty much if this continuation and this was no and this had no continuation of green, I took the short there. We made a quick move down. So I ended up taking profits kind of at the bottom of this tail. And I ended up canceling it out right here, which was good on my part because obviously we reversed right away and then we inevitably went higher. Why did I take the short? Once again, it was just kind of a, a experience with SPY. I've 
traded all all the time, and I just knew that this is a big move up. This is a two dollar move up with no pullback yet, no like two, three, four bar pullback. And inevitably, it was about to happen, and I was just fortunate enough to catch it and got the move down. And then lastly, I went over to Snapchat, and definitely I did mess up on Snapchat. I I sold way too early. I'm not really ashamed to admit it, but this. Uh, this was such a good long. Um, this bar right here was everything you need to know to take it long. Bouncing off the moving averages, you have a double bottom, full pennant like this, you know, higher or low. Everything was there. Volume increased. So many good signs. And honestly, when this next bar kind of came up into this triple top and it started spiraling back down, I did get nervous and I canceled my profits. So I was in here and entered right at the end of towards the end of this bar and I literally took my profits right here. Out of nervous of fear of getting back profits, especially if this triple top was gonna hold. Cause at one point, like I said, it was this and then started snapping back down when I sold it and then it ripped back up. These happen. Looking back at it, I really should have just trusted all those variables that I laid out. Higher low, off the 200, a strong bar eliminating lots of action to the left, bull pennant breakout, and just, yeah, so what? There's a triple top there, but SPY was rallying, tech was rallying, the whole market was doing well this morning. Should have just had more trust in it and could have caught a massive move, but I am human. I do have emotions and trading still, working on them. But hopefully, you know, you guys learning something from me as I'm just building more awareness about myself. And, you know, these entries right here, you can take them all day long. Those are such good ones. And if you notice all the other trades, you know, they were, if we were above the moving averages, I was typically taking them long unless things got a little bit far away. And with experience, I took the counterplay. But if you want to always be on the winning side of the trade, just make sure you are always going long when you're above the moving averages like this. And if you're below the moving average, that's why you could have took this short. So that being said, all in all, great day. Happy with it. Good recovery from what's been going on for me lately. And I am definitely grateful for that. So hoping the rest of the week will go well. Hope everyone else has been doing well and your trading has been improving week to week. That being said, if you have any questions or comments, please throw it in the, the below. Make sure that if you want direct access to me and the other veteran traders with the discord you join us ask questions there too you have a whole community there that will be willing to help you out and you can actually learn more in depth about how i use these moving averages and candlesticks so have a good night everyone james with rocket stocks and peace